Hello everybody and welcome to a new series, which is similar to old series, but it's new. We are jumping in to the new 100% save file streaks. We have everything unlocked for all the modded characters, as well as everything unlocked in general, Dead God and all that. And we're going to be trying to get win streaks and I'm going to be doing randomized characters. One random normal, one random tainted, and we'll just see who we get. Sometimes it's going to be more difficult, sometimes it's going to be more easy. We've just got to see who we get. I would use the old randomizer that I had, but unfortunately that's broken now. We're going to start off with Lazarus. Not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. We'll pop our pill. Ooh, good. I'm excited right off the bat. But of course, this guy, for a streak, kind of interesting because he's got a bit of risk associated with him considering we can kill ourselves to gain stats. And I mean, I'm definitely still partial to that idea. I still think it's worth it. We just need to make sure I have like soul hearts on the floor and stuff. So let's first of all go straight in here, actually. Um, doorstop is pretty good. I'll take that. Thank you. Been able to uh, back out of rooms that are a little bit iffy will be quite nice. So I'm quite happy with that indeed. Okay, managed to get you. Oh, I'm excited. Almost screwed me there. We do have a tinted rock here, so if we get a bomb, we're in the money here. This is actually a really, really good bomb here. Oh, the best bomb you've ever seen. Right, so we'll leave that, that uh, there. We'll crack this open. Have a little look-see in here. This is great, because we can trade HP uh, for a revive here in the black market. It's a very good start. Okay, so we've got the Derelict Anchor. Monsters are bound to an anchor, which heavily restricts movement speed. When attempting to move outside of the anchor range, drags the an drag down and break rocks. We've also got the Snap Bang. On use, place a small explosive charge on the floor. Explodes on contact with any monster. Deals 10 times player damage and confuses the enemy with an explosion. Seems pretty interesting. I think we'll go for this, this, yeah, uh, this, then this. This is going to, hmm, kind of a weird one. Okay, that spawned a bunch of enemies. Not not, not my greatest ideas ever, with I'm excited. Um, on pickup spawns a coin, a card, uh, a key, a bomb... Uh, start of the next run. Okay, that's only going to help us in the future. So, yeah, let's take Snap Bang, and then let's take the um, blanket here. And then we come out here. Do you know what? Let's also blow up these two geezers here. Why not? we got bombs to do. I need to keep remember that I've got Iron Excited on. That's going to make things more difficult. Right. Then we leave here. And I think we kill ourselves to get a red heart back, and then we take the soul heart on the floor. And that's the best way to go about this. So we die... Get a red heart back. Yeah, that worked out pretty nicely. And now we've got some good items. We've got some good items. So this anchor is kind of an interesting idea for restricting their movement. We get ourselves familiar with Chris. Blue flies. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I like it. I like it. And then soul heart in here as well. Unfortunately not. We could take a double sack here. And actually, I'm somewhat tempted. We don't have anything in our donation machine right now. I'm somewhat tempted by this. Okay, we might be able to grab the Dream Catcher, which I'd very much enjoy because that's a half soul heart per floor, which is pretty darn useful for protecting our Devil Deal, so I'm, I'm down with that. But I'm really interested in this Anchor item. The fact that it restricts movement of all enemies is, is kind of ludicrous. It seems really, really good. I also want to see how good this is. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty good, especially when it's been a recharge per room. I doubt it'll destroy uh, rocks and stuff, but the... Um, the enemies moving around with their anchors will destroy rocks, which I imagine at some point could end up being a negative to us. I, I don't imagine that's always going to be a positive, just because I guess it could like blow up a bomb rock that hurts us and stuff like that, or potentially let enemies get through areas they're not meant to be able to get through, stuff like that. But we'll we'll sort of get to that when we come to it and see how it goes. Um. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, what is your first? Oh, my bad. What is your first sort of task that you've set yourself for the new year? What's what's your first big thing that you're planning on doing with your life? What is coming up for you? I think that'd be pretty interesting to find out. Also, the snap bang's kind of an interesting idea. Okay, that did my bag of trash die already? That's a bit unfortunate. Um, I think this is actually better, you know, preventing curses more often. Oh, these guys are different now. They fire an arcing shot rather than a, a regular shot. That's intriguing. Not used to be the case. Okay. This this creep is wicking me out a little bit. Yes, that's really good. The, the stunning effect of it as well is, is really, really nice. 
And it seems to do a very, very good amount of damage. Unfortunately, we're just getting a good old cube of meat here. Nothing special. Uh, and we are streaking, so we can kind of decide where we want to go. I imagine some of the bosses, like uh, Mother, won't be super common. But we will throw them in every now and again if our run feels strong enough. Which, to be honest, this run is actually pretty strong. So I'm not going to say it's not strong enough completely. But I think on our first run, we want to try and get a win off the bat. We are, of course, going to be min-maxing a little bit on these runs. Because we are going for a win streak. We want to try our hardest to achieve wins wherever we can. My highest streak on YouTube thus far is a 38 win streak. So that's kind of... Our goal, really. One of those tiny little white spiders hit that and destroyed my, uh, my snap bang. Alright, just get really up close and place it down. There you go. <laughs> Cheese it a little bit. But yeah, having, having enemies, like, be fully restricted in their movement seems really, really good. Oh, I should not have taken that soul heart there. That was a bit stupid. I guess I could go devil deal here, just because I want to kill myself at some point. I'll leave that one there for now, and, and we'll come back to it. I, th then again, to be fair, like, killing myself at every floor is not a necessity. It is just helpful. Um, so if I do get enough health this floor um, to do it, then I will. But otherwise, it's not going to be something I need to do. Like, yeah, so it, it's definitely worth it now. I'm hoping what happens is we get a devil deal here, and we can trade away a bunch of this HP, and then do it, and it would make a lot more sense for us. You've broken your chains, boy. Broken your chains. Yeah, so it seems that any enemy with over a certain amount of HP is going to be anchored down. Doesn't seem to affect bosses, but that makes a lot of sense, as is. Okay. Got you little shits. You little shits as well, actually. They're all little shits in this room. And then, yeah, yeah, having this guy, like, be anchored down to this area of the, uh, the room is pretty useful. Emperor card is good for later on. Uh, not super useful for right now. It's kind of nice that the bank pops will destroy rocks as well. I didn't think they would, but they, they seemingly do. Unfortunately, all of these enemies aren't locked down. We can kind of do that and, and set up a sort of somewhat trap on enemies. No trouble for us. I'm guessing this, the um, item room is going to be way back over there. <laughs> that guy's trying to escape and he can't. That's pretty funny. Even these guys are having trouble. Oh, look at that. That's so funny. You can't do nothing, boy. You can't do nothing. Love it. Love it. It's also going to be nice to have, like, all the items unlocked. You know what? Let's, uh, let's try and put a thingy down here to cheese this a little bit. In fact, if we can... Nah, the spiders are ruining it. That didn't really work the way I was hoping it would. I don't think I can set it off myself either. That's a bit of a shame because we're two bombs off of that and we don't have any bombs to work with right now. We do get ourselves a nice holy mantle from Blanket in the boss room, which is really nice. I can set multiple of these up at once. This is really nice. Okay. I can actually sort of fill the room with these, and uh, eventually they'll go off and hit the boss. I quite like that. I quite like that indeed. This is a mighty easy boss fight because of those, to be honest. Mighty easy indeed. We do get some damage, and we did get a devil deal as well, which of course I'll take in this scenario here. Joyful is fine, and then plus one all uh, black hearts, all black status uh, potential. Yeah, okay, let's go for it. Right now, we probably still want to kill ourselves here, so let's let's just take this for now because why not? Uh, right. Let's let's quickly check if there's any other ways for us to get bombs real quick here. Any other way for us to get bombs? Because it would be kind of nice to be able to get whatever item is in that giant pot. But two bombs off still is a little ways to go, so I'm not supremely confident we can get that done. Haha, I guess they fly into me. See what happens. Okay. In here we get good old dry baby. Do not mind a dry baby whatsoever. Not bad, not bad. Looks like we're not going to get the bombs required here, unfortunately. Although, we can go in here, which is kind of nice. Um, get ourselves HP. Okay. Um, so I think what we do in this scenario is we go somewhere where we can kill ourselves. 
which I don't actually know where we can kill ourselves right now. Cash room, I guess. Well, there's some fires around here, but they're fires that I can't get to very easily. So yeah, cash room, we kill ourselves. Then we come back over here. And we take this HP. We pop the joyful pill as well, I think, for the double damage. Actually, we might not need to pop the joyful pill. Like, yeah, this guy's getting wrecked by our blood. Hey, we even got a half soul heart out of that guy as well. Amazing. Again, pop these down where we can. They'll do us good. They'll do us plenty of good. Yeah, nice and easy. Didn't even need to use that joyful pill. Good, good. Ah, oh, it, it did the bug again. That enemy can bug out for some reason with the um, faster death animation. You've got to do debug 10. Debug... 10, quick kill. That should be it. There you go. Yeah, it's it's a little annoying that that's the case. Do you know what? Like, I'm really I'm really liking the new console, but one thing I really don't like about it is you have to click into this window. It should, it should always default into being clicked into that window. It's a little annoying that it doesn't. It's only a minor inconvenience, but it's still, it's one of those things, isn't it? Like, it, it'd be better if it didn't. Anyways, um, we've got enough to check for a soul heart in here as well, so we might as well. Um, unfortunately not. There is the ladder in there. Also, my cursor keeps staying on screen. I don't know if you guys saw that there. It is what it is. Unfortunately, we did not get the bombs required to pop the um, thingy there. Even if we bought one. I think there was one available, but we'd still be one bomb off, so it's not really worth doing. Um, it's a shame. We, 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 we did okay, but we'll carry on to the next floor. Feeling good so far about this run. We've got good HP. I feel like we've played this reasonably well. Um, the game has been pretty generous to us in giving us the ability to um, work alongside our... Um, that's good. Work alongside our death mechanic that this guy has. D did that didn't... Okay, there you go. Now it got you. I think we are okay to take this... Oh, that was a little bit stupid. First hit of the run, I think that is. Slightly silly. Got a D8 there. I will unfortunately not be using that. I mean, I rarely would anyways, but especially not now. Um, we've got this. Enemies in the room will endlessly respawn until you take damage afterwards. Spawn a reward based on the total number. So basically, we can use this in a room that... Uh, I don't know what this does. Okay. Um, we can use this in a room that has, like, not too many enemies. Uh, or not too difficult enemies, should I say. And keep redoing it. So this isn't the room I want to do. I do not want to fight these guys over and over. We want to find a room that's relatively easy to repeat. Um, and then we can keep doing it over and over for rewards. So that room's an easy one, but it'd be too boring. Again, that would be too boring. Okay, this, this is the one, I think. Unfortunately, oh, what the hell? Okay, there was a, a weird ghosty boy. I didn't realize that was something I was going to have to deal with, so my bad. <laughs> Oops, okay, so that didn't, that didn't really go to plan. That, my little pop thing didn't do any damage to any of you. You all jumped right on it, my guys. You all jumped right on it. Okay, it'd be nice if we could find secret room here, but I'm not going to rush for it. I'm really liking the this active, you know. It's it's really good. Stops enemies that are chasing you being too aggressive because they just get blown up. Good, good. And shop is now valid as well. Lovely. We've got Greed's Butt. When hit by an enemy or projectile, you fire launching out a coin. Uh, there's a 5% chance that you drop a golden poop instead. Recharge this by taking coins. Why not? Sounds intriguing. Most certainly intriguing, I would say. And we do we do little poots as we walk around as well, I'm seeing. Oh wait, no. It's it's the gr greed's butts like circling around us if you see. Okay, these guys seem to be able to move through the, the movement penalties that they're receiving. It's kind of interesting. Okay. All good. Dun dun. Let's go straight for our boss right now. I know we've not seen our item room yet, but I feel confident in our boss right now. That 
didn't hit you for some reason. How is that not hitting you? Come on now. I'm glad that all these guys are locked down, because otherwise it'd be a bit annoying. Dude, this guy is the king at avoiding my pop snaps. Like I said, create a minefield that he'll somehow expertly avoid. There you go. Lovely. We did get a devil deal as well here. The screw is great. I think at this point we're probably going to not kill ourselves every time. Um, just because we have a lot of health around. Red King is very good. I'll take Red King and I'll be on my way, I think. Yeah, I don't have any health lying around on this floor, so I'm not supremely confident in killing myself. But Red King... Red King's it's risky because you do fight an additional boss and normally it's a harder version of said boss. But it can reward us with some absolutely stupendously good items, so... I really want to take that risk right now. And the thing is as well, like, one thing I don't want this streak to be is, of course, when we get into the later parts of the streak, we are going to play a little safer, but I don't want it to be a no fun streak. I don't want to just not take things that are fun. Golden Idol. The player has a 50% chance of, revi um, of receiving a fading nickel when a room is cleared. Getting damage caused the player to lose half their money, dropping some of it on the ground as fading coins. When the player is holding money, damage is always... F Ooh. Mm. That's a really cool item, and I love the fact that it's got a curse associated with it, but one full heart of damage. Ooh, no, 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 no. Not when we've got this little HP. If we had more, or if we had some level of protection or way to gain it back other than um, Dreamcatcher, I'd be a little more invested in that, but... With, with the current situation of our stats to HP ratio, I'm not going to say it's the safest. I was planning on taking it until I read that last line, because I think it would synergize pretty well with um, with our Greed's Butt thing that we've got going on here. I think that'd be a pretty interesting synergy. But I think the fact that... Do you know what? Let's take a little look, peek for Secret Room here. I think the fact that it, it also deals one full heart of damage is a touch too far for me. This could be Secret Room here. It's not... I'm not really seeing where else it would be. This is a pretty weird floor layout. I mean, I guess there's only one other place it could be. And it's up to the right here. Yeah, so that that's that's free. That is not free. So it's here? I'm not using any more bombs after this. There you go. A bit of money. Thank you. Got another 15 cent ready for the next floor as well, which is good, but... You know for a fact we're not going to get the right thing. Oh, I've just noticed something that we need to change. Fiend Folio, settings, UI, um, force small. There you go. Just makes the uh, the room text at the bottom a little bit smaller, which I, I quite like. I think it being super large isn't the, isn't the greatest. But yeah, stats are actually pretty good right now, I'd say. 4.23 fire rate and a nice bit of damage. Um, pretty good going. I think it's going to obviously wane as we as we go on, so we're going to still have to try and improve that a little bit. Shop disc, I'll just pop. We got blue map for a short time. If we can walk past one of those rooms, that would be lovely. Dude, you're not really going to play this this way, are you? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dry Baby. That's very helpful. But yeah, we can try and find a secret room while we've got a uh, blue map available here. That would be really, really nice. Okay, this guy is being annoying. Um, just a bunch of poops. No, thank you. Ooh, I don't know what's going on with my uh, with with these water bottles that keep randomly popping up. Um, but they seem to replace things every now and again. Ooh, um, did my did my greed's butt protect me from damage? Then is that what that that's not what it said it did, but it definitely just prevented a hit. And it seems to take much more than one coin to refill. Interesting. I knew, I knew it would be you, you bugger. Unfortunately, this guy can hit me pretty easily as well because he has explosive shots. So we've still got to be somewhat wary here. There we go, we got him. Another shop disc. Shop disc. Lovely. Plenty of money, I greed, but is refilled. Cyst there a little bit wasted by me. Oops. Didn't realise I was going to waste it there. Alright, let's do the boss straight away again, I think. Ugh, wasted my cyst shot again. 
Got to remember that I've got um, Holy Mantle in here, so that's that's always going to be good. Always going to be helpful. I need to try and plant them in the middle of the room while he's not in the middle of the room. Ah, I'm taking damage here, aren't I? Oh, wow. I'm not somehow. That was insane. <clears throat> We've got ourselves Smooth Rock here. I'll check the Devil Deal, but I'm not particularly... Okay, I was going to say I'm not particularly interested, but... When it's that, I am interested. And then we've got this, which with our Holy Mantle, I'm, I'm reasonably confident on, especially when we can do that. And we've got our thingy as well going on right now. Oh my god. Oh wait, there's a spike rock there. Oh, it doesn't do damage to you. I really thought it would. And we get ourselves two items. I'm not quite sure why we got two. Is that because there was two bosses? Corpse Flower, pretty good. It's a choice between two. Okay. Very happy with how that went. I was not feeling that item room, so let's head on back. Yeah, honestly, I didn't think about the fact that we have Holy Mantle and then also the Greed Butt helping us out for those boss fights. I need to see. Did, is Greed Butt still there? No, because it, it definitely didn't say that it protected me for a hit, did it? I, I, unless I just missed that. But yeah, quite happy to have Corpse Flower. I think Corpse Flower is, an, is a really fantastic item. Um, poisoning enemies is lovely, then producing flies that then kill other enemies is even better. Don't really need to use pop snap on rooms with these guys in it. Dude, I love a good a good old uh dry bum. Dry baby. He's uh he's the best little that fella you could ask for. We're getting a lot of joy pills. For those of you that don't know what those do, by the way, basically when we get hit, there's a chance that we uh take to start we we get double damage, but then we start taking double damage. Joy pills just have activate that effect on demand, which is nice, but not super useful in most rooms. There's, there's, there's certain boss rooms and stuff of which I'd I'd want to give it a go, but otherwise... Oh, we got the ferryman here. Okay, so someone did tell me how the ferryman works. I'm going to give it a go. Basically, if I can complete these three, um... These, these four portals, sorry. The statue in the middle will apparently disappear and award me with an angel item. So I've got to complete all of these without my ghost dying. I've got four ghosts, and yeah, basically, they'll each reward me, but they each um, they each can die pretty easily, so we've got to be somewhat careful with them. Die to the poison, my guy. Oh my god, these enemies. There you go. Um, spawns an item from a random pool and will either give broken hat... And we'll either give broken heart space and item quality, remove hearts. Ugh, bit too risky for me right now. Not with the health I'm currently on, thank you. Right, two in the ferry. That's three in the ferry. Torn um, thingy is good, but I'm pretty happy with what i got right now. And one last one, if we can make it happen. Big if, because I don't actually know what all the rooms entail. This one's the ghost in the middle. Good, that should kill you. It didn't, but... No! I... I didn't know that's how that works. Damn it. Unfortunate. So we gained some stuff, but otherwise... Didn't work. I didn't realise that... The enemies touching that soul would kill it. I thought if I got hit, the soul would die. Unfortunate, but pretty cool nonetheless. We got some e decent stuff out of it. Not exactly what we were looking for, though. Right, gotta be more careful about that in the future. I'm guessing there's plenty of rooms in there, but I, I like that as, a as an unlock. It's a pretty cool idea. Just gotta be a bit more cautious in the future about those souls getting hit. I wasn't entirely aware of how that would work. Okay, we've got Stephen Floor here as well. We don't want to go Stephen Floor right now, I don't think. And Item Room is still up for grabs. Plenty of money to work with, plenty of keys to work with. We are in a good position right now. I think a pretty good start to the streak as well. Unsure what on earth is going on here, but I do not like it. This is pretty awful, actually. I I'm probably going to get hit here. In fact, I don't really see how I don't get hit here. Okay, good, got you. 
Okay, I got lucky there. Man, rooms with these blocks in, I just... Oof. Anyways, we got through it. Item room is going to be speed equals damage once again. I will take speed equals damage. Unfortunately, we have base speed right now. But that's still a insane damage increase. Okay. Wow. I would have thought that I'd added that that would have added like very little damage, but apparently that's not the case. We got some sort of void black heart here. Oh uh, wait, what? Oh, uh, that's just my item replaced that with a black heart. I see what happened there. That's not really how I wanted that to work, is it? Now. There you go. Burn heart, come to me. Cool, we got it. Right, yeah, but I, I think what happened there is um, the soul heart was replaced with a black heart via that corrupted heart item that we've got from my devil deal. I think that's what happened. Anyways, let's keep moving. Things are looking good so far. Health is looking better as well. Um, I just At the minute, I want health to obviously stay alive, but also I'd, I'd really like it to uh, try and make sure we can get a few more devil deals in here. Because while we've got a good amount so far, more is always better. Thank you. Thank you, my driest of fellas. Thank you. Let's put that in there while we sort out these geezers. Got you. Good, good, good. Chest back here as well. Thank you. Oh, dude, the money is just rolling at the minute. I'm really glad because it just means greed butt is constantly, uh, constantly fed for us, which is... Very nice. Yeah. What? Well, imagine dying to one of those little nubbin things. God, that'd be that'd be an embarrassing death. That I'm sure is on my bucket list. I'm sure it'll happen at some point. Unfortunately, not a not a great usage of that there, but yeah, not a great chest. But it is what it is. Uh, these guys are kind of interesting with the with being locked in place. <laughs> All those enemies didn't really work when they were locked in place like that. That was kind of close. Greed but just saved my life. Thank you. We we've ma managed to stay protected from a lot of hits from greed but it's kind of like um, a little a little less usable but a little more useful version of Dumpy because you don't have to chase after him. Um, but, and he will protect you a, l a little bit more easily, but he's a bit harder to recharge. I think overall, it's, it's, it's a good trade-off. It's a good trade-off. More defensive items like this are always welcome in the game. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Good old black heart there. I'm really liking this anchor item, though. This might be one of my favorite items I've had in recent history. Um, restricting the movement of enemies is, is always a massive bonus. Never going to not be good. And it works really well with the other things we've got going on right now. You need to remember we've got Lump of Coal in the mix as well, because I'm not really utilizing Lump of Coal all that much right now. I'm not really benefiting from its damage, just because I'm not staying further away from enemies. But honestly, Lump of Coal is substantial. It gives you a lot of, a lot of extra uh, damage at range. So even these guys, it makes these guys way more tolerable. Just so much easier to deal with. Is this a new enemy? That, that, that guy looks new. Oh god, this room's a little wee bit laggy from all the, uh, the creep on the floor. Unfortunately, it only locks down enemies that spawn in no more, so we're not getting people locked in after the fact yeah for some reason something to do with the way that um the way that rooms are uh creep is generated is causing issues that is a five room um I'm, I'm partial to a five room to be honest especially on a floor like this where we have a lot of money um i think it makes a lot of sense to be honest oh i didn't i didn't see that pipe there can you can you walk into this thing for me please there you go one of you at least did <clears throat> oh man this is it's so nice it dealing 10 times your damage is so good it's dealing a hundred damage right now um place that on the wrong side apparently 
Spider, can you chill out? There you go. And item room holds for us. That's actually not bad. Not bad at all. It's not amazing, but not bad. Ah, oh, that looks very secret roomy to me. This, to be fair, this looks more secret roomy, actually. Need to get right in the center. Line myself up. There you go. Didn't give me secret room either. Unless I was just too far back. Spiked brick is in the way. Shop is a very, very, very good thing for us indeed. I really like Pot of Gold. I think it's very fun. Basically, everything is replaced by pennies, but pennies can be basically trinket variants of their pennies, meaning they can give us keys, bombs, all sorts of good stuff. I think the only thing that isn't replaced is HP. Oh, dude, that damage is nuts. Look at that. Look at that. Bell clapper. Nice. We can then go down here. This is not a nice room, but... It's helpful that the uh, things are locked down. It's a lot easier. Wrath, I'll take, even though it's three broken hearts. I think it's worth it for what it is. Um, and we'll go and do our five room because we get so much out of it. An extra shop, extra item room, extra boss item, and an extra red king room. Like, all of that's just too good not to take. And yeah, I really, really like Wrath as an item. Essentially, it's a solid 30% extra damage um, straight away, which is quite a lot to have. Um, yeah, five room, let's go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's straight up a flat 30% damage boost, but it's also nice because it gives you a little bit of sort of herming in a way. Good. But yeah, you'll be seeing a lot of different variants of pennies showing up here and there. Lovely. Some pennies will give us bombs, some will give us keys, some will give us cards, some will give us pills. There's all sorts of ones in there. Good, good. But main reason I took it, I like it as an item. Main reason I took it, it's going to make it way easier filling up Greed's book. Which is a sentence I didn't think I'd be saying today, but there you have it. Filling up Greed's book is going to get so much easier. Love that. The faster our fire rate gets as well, the better Wrath helps us. The, ra the explosion radius are deceptive on that uh, pop snap as well. It looks like it's going to be really small, but it actually has a pretty large explosion radius. Bit of a bad hit from me there. First hit I've had in a while because Greed Butt wasn't filled. Charge Penny there. These guys can't even get close to me. Beautiful. Super, super good item. Some items seem to be able to break free. Uh, some items, some enemies, but most of them can't. So we did only get Cuba meat here, but at least puts us to level 2. But this is the main reason we're doing this. We get this guy again. Isn't the one I'd choose to have twice, I'll be honest, but... Luckily, the, the, the blocks are slowed down by the anchors, so it's not as bad. And we get Echo Chamber. Lovely. Lovely bit of Echo Chamber. Very nice to see. Okay, I've still got our item room to go here. Now, Echo Chamber, we have to be careful with what we take. Obviously, we really realistically only want to take good cards that are going to help us. We will see what we end up getting. Don't take Joy Pills, because that will cause all sorts of ruckus. We're going to be getting a lot of joy pills and rooms. I do wish they had their own minimap icon. because It looks like I've got cards everywhere and I don't. In fact, I'm just going to drop it just so I don't accidentally use it. Because otherwise I will. And that will mess up everything. Got a charge penny there. Unfortunately, don't have an active that can benefit very well from that. So, missing out a little bit there. Go. 
get some healing there as well. It's also nice because all of it counts as money too. Like, you're, you're, all the while you're getting all this other stuff, but you're also still gaining money for shops and stuff. Pot of gold is one of those items that I think the earlier you find it, the better it is. And early on, it can be very, very, very strong. Because it just means you've got, like, basically unlimited money. And normally you end up getting more keys and bombs than you would by actually finding keys and bombs as well, which is a massive positive. Now, unidentified pill, a little bit too risky with Echo Chamber because it could be a tears down. We don't want three tears downs. It's always the chance it's um, something much, much better than that. But battery acid is... It's, it's probably worth it. Uh, we've also got... Uh, potato peeler. I don't know if potato peeler will work on a burn harb. I'm going to try it. Unfortunately, it doesn't, which is a shame. Bit of a waste of money there. Um, I guess I'll take this in case I get an active that works alongside it. And sack dagger here. Not exactly what we need, but it's a good bit of protection nonetheless. Let's just check our other rooms to make sure we haven't got anything amazing lying on, lying in waits for us here. Yeah, I got, I, it's a little annoying that the joyful pills spawn so much. Makes it a little hard to, to find anything else. But they do spawn alongside room drops though, so it doesn't replace them. But you do get a hell of a lot of them. Really wants us to take those drugs, doesn't it? But it makes our mini-map look so, so cluttered. <laughs> Right, very, very good floor there. Um, if we could potentially find a secret room, that'd be good. I'm not entirely sure where I'd be looking here. I'll do a few bombs here and there and places that are obvious. Could be there. Last one I'm going to check. Ah, unfortunate. Oh, well. Let's just get ourselves gone. Carry on down. So far, so very good. I think we've min-maxed a good amount here. Um, we've, we've gained quite a lot. And we've got pretty goddamn good items for our first run. I mean, Echo Chamber on uh, run one of the streak is something that you can never be sad about. Can, can you stop sucking me in, please? Thank you. Stop with the sucking. Do you want to... Oh, the, <laughs> the anchors were making that so they couldn't actually reach it there. That's funny. I've still not used my Emperor card. Realistically, I'm kind of saving it for... Um, I'm kind of saving it for when we get down to the uh, next floor. Let's see. Um, the womb. Ah, oh, bugger. I see, I see. Yeah. These, these need to go. Wasn't too bad, but a little bit tedious. Little hand. Two? Nah. 8% increased room reward is, like, good, but I still think that preventing curses has been very good for us. So far, we've prevented two curses. Don't mind that at all. Preventing curses, never a bad thing. There's plenty of curses that can screw with us more than we'd expect, so... And what do we have in here? Inner Eye. Inner Eye. Half's our fire rate, so we'd, we'd be on like 1.5 fire rate. But I, I think I'm going to take it. I think it's overall pretty decent. Yeah, I think I think that was a good choice. Inner Eye is like quad shots always worth it. Inner Eye is kind of an iffy one. Sometimes it feels worth it, sometimes it's not. So many of these rooms, unfortunately. Just an unfathomable doubt. Good. good. A little bit of HP there. I'm going to say, this, this amount of fire rate is not a bad amount either. Also, rats are doing some good work here and there. And the shop. What do you hold for us now? We can buy pennies. Um, Steam sale, not... Not particularly useful, but what else are we going to spend our money on, I guess? 
kind of makes sense that they, that they sell pennies because obviously replaces batteries and stuff. That that is probably the one the one big downside is you can't get like a charged key or a lucky penny. No, you still got lucky pennies, but you can't get charged keys. You can't get um you can't get a full battery anymore. There's a few things that you can't get that that will be missed. I think overall the positives outweigh the negatives. Especially when we've got greed butt to protect us. Like the positives are so huge when we, we we're able to recharge greed butt so easily. Good, good. So there's a card. Oh, so see that's this is tricky. Cause now it could activate any card. That's that's I think that might be too risky. Right. We've got Echo Chamber with the Emperor card here, so we can skip through a few floors at the end here. Which is kind of nice. But we'll take this, we'll check that out. Twisted Pair is 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 just too good not to take. Especially with triple shot. We're firing so many shots now. And we go down here. I'm going to open this up just to make things a little easier. Get us off a bit of breathing room. And unfortunately, not great choice there. But Oh, we got conjoined. Okay. So fire rates it a little bit in the shit, but overall... Overall, did we did we go to the shop that floor? We did, didn't we? Yeah, we got Steam Sale. Overall, we're now firing quite a few tiers. We've also got this, which I'll crack open as well, for two items, I hope. Damn it, never get the two items. I think Fishtail might be worth it at this point, you know. We've got a token there. This is another thing that with with this as well. With all these shots, we're firing so many wrath shots every hit. Um, we've got a token there. I guess I guess with a token, what we can do is we can go like this: grab that, grab that, then grab that. Ah uh, no, because we're just going to emperor card anyways. That was kind of worthless. Anyways, let's do the boss. Created something pretty, pretty crazy here. Another devil deal. God damn, they just keep coming. So yeah, they we didn't luck pennies don't exist anymore either, which is kind of weird to be honest. I don't really know why a luck penny wouldn't exist, but clearly it doesn't. This is a horrific room. Luckily, it wasn't too bad, but that was a bit scary. And then we get Jello on Mum's Contact. I think Mum's Contact's pretty good here. Right. So I, I also do, do... Cards seem to drop normally, yeah. Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get that card we had. It's a bit weird. I'm... I'm I don't know. I'm iffy on... I'm iffy on this. Not being able to get luck pennies is real weird. Like, it's a penny. It's an item that replaces things with pennies. Why would it replace luck pennies? Unless they do exist and it just bugged out on that particular item. That's probably more so the case. Because it wouldn't make any sense to remove them completely, would it? Right. Yeah, we're, we're, we're in a really good spot for damage now. Likewise, eh. Got a little, little bit to be desired. The lag is, uh... Is a bit iffy. We're killing stuff so fast, I don't care so much. You just... Twisted Pair is one of those items that I feel like, even if it's going to leave you on, like, one heart, it just feels like an item you have to take. It's just it's just too good not to, man. It's so enjoyable to see the triple shot when you don't have triple shot. Never mind when you do have triple shot. Then it's the nine times shot. We'll check out our arcade here in case it's a claw game. Oh, actually, to be fair, you are you are very playable. You can give me items, give me trinkets, unfortunately thus far, oh, dude, Jacob's Ladder, 
Um, spawn a blue spider and picking up a coin. Honestly, that might be better than the fishtail overall, you know. Fishtail is good because uh, we've got corpse flower, which is spawning flies, but being able to get spiders consistently after every room is, is pretty good. Also, yeah. Jacob's Ladder here. What an amazing item to grab, especially with this many tiers creating this many electrical connections. Oh, what the hell was that? Is that something from Milkshake, by, the, by any chance? Yes, it was. Tinder rocks have 75% chance? Nah. We're not Like, th those trinkets are kind of interesting, but they're not really that good this late into the game. If you find them on, like, floor 1 or 2, very, very nice. But finding them this late into the game, I, I rarely see trinket uh, tinted rocks this late in, or at least I rarely notice them, so I think taking a trinket slot for that, especially when considering it's not even a guarantee, is a little bit... A little bit silly. Okay. I put that down, hoping it'd hit, but it didn't. Luckily, Mum's contact will mean we get to skip last phase here. We did not get a red door here, though, which is surprising. Um, considering our ability, like our inability to get hit right now from all the stuff we've got protecting us, I think I will take perfection on the hope that we can get more chests on the last floor. Not that we need them. Um, yeah, just, just because we've got Greed's Book going on right now and the ability to fill it so easily, um, it's, it's, it's rare that we're getting hit. So I think the fact that we're getting perfection means you, you're probably okay to carry it. Nope. I say that didn't spawn a spider, but there's a reason it didn't spawn a spider, because we no longer have that trinket as we've just established. I'm pretty sure that penny there will give me a card. It will gift card as well, okay. Stuff. Where you at, boy? Lovely stuff. We've got plenty of keys to go out here. And we'll see what we get. Camo undies is good. Friendly monsters okay. Juicy sacks okay. The other one's kind of meh. Camo undies should be quite nice for moving room to room. Oh wait, do, does, does camo undies work? Oh, it, it does, it does. I was, I was holding fire as I entered the room, so it wasn't triggering properly. Ouija board's lovely. Blackheart's nice too. But our health has been pretty, pretty static at where it's at for a while. Yeah, so just don't hold fire when we enter the room and it'll work. Ahead for the room, fellas. Nah, we don't need that. that. That just causes issues for me. I've had that before and I, I don't really know how to use it effectively. Yeah, these guys will just die of their own volition, essentially. Whenever they want to be unmums contacted. Oh, this is annoying. Mums contact is ruining these guys. Oh, stop it, Mum's Contact. Okay, good. Very annoying to begin with there. But yeah, we got a nice win here for the streak. We can keep it going from here, I think. Okay. Don't know what's left in this room, but we should be okay. Aha, you're locked down via anchor as well, my guy. You can't do anything. Bunch of dark boys in the in the holes in the floor. Oof. Luda is so weird right now. What would Luda even do right now? 
I'm going to take it just because, like, this runs so sure. Yeah, look, that's amazing. Look at that. Unfortunately, our shot speed isn't good, so it's not, like, great. But damage-wise, it's, it's completely fantastic. Damage-wise, it's still kicking ass. Swarm to protect us. Thank you. Yeah, because it's just tons of tears around and then Jacob's Ladder doing its thing. Good old Shadow Glass. No, thank you. Right, boss time. And we can just kind of sit this over you. Plant down some of these uh, snap pop things and hope they hit you. Not need to use those for a little while, to be honest. We've been sitting pretty for a good bit now. I don't know why the Wrath Shot spawns sometimes and not others. Seems a little inconsistent on that. Mum's Contact was a great pickup as well. But anyways, you're just about dead, sir. You're just about dead. And there you go. That will be the first episode of our new streaking save file. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.